Coming up, I'm going to be talking you through my huge Disney DVD collection and sharing my favourites with you. So keep watching to find out what they are. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to All About Aoife. So today I'm going to be talking you through my huge Disney DVD collection. And when I say huge, I mean huge. I literally have every Disney DVD in the classic collection. I've started on my Disney Pixar collection and then I have like all of the second films. I have like The Little Mermaid 2, um, Ariel's Beginning, Lady and the Tramp 2. I have like loads of different ones. I've got all the Tinkerbell ones and I am obsessed with Disney. So I wanted to talk you through them today because if you're a Disney lover like me, I always look love looking at other people's Disney collections and also I wanted to talk you through kind of my top five favorite Disney movies even though it's so hard to pick like my five favorite because I love all the princess ones equally as much and all the newer ones as well they're so cool in all in their own different ways so I'll show you first of all what I keep most of my D Disney DVDs in it's this huge case it's gonna be so hard for me to show you guys all the stuff in here because it's so heavy so I'll open it up and first of all I want to show you the inside of the case which was designed specifically for me it was a present for my 21st birthday and they made it for me because I love Disney and look at the inside so as you can see there's like um, Princess Aurora down the bottom left here and then we have Belle over the right hand side and we have then um, Sleeping or Princess Rapunzel from tangled then in the center and they made this for me because obviously I love Disney and yeah it was a present for my 21st birthday and I thought what can I put in this giant case and what better way than to store my Disney DVDs than in something that's Disney themed as well so I thought this is a perfect match and let me just show you all the D Disney DVDs in here if I can oh my god there's so many this is literally so heavy so there's probably over 50 dvds in here maybe less because i can't fit all of the classics in here because i have so many of them they are all like ordered in numbers because obviously all the Disney DVD classics have numbers on the side of them which is great so it's great to organize and see how you're getting along with your collection I'm gonna put it down now because I'm out of breath trying to talk with it up but yeah I have so so many and so many that I have to like keep some outside or I even store some kind of just like in here in the front of the thing and pile them up on top if I can for example like the newer ones like this Big Hero 6 and Wreck-It Ralph um, Tangled is even there because this is like 50, 51, 53, what's this, Zootropolis which is not even opened yet, that's 54, so there actually is like 54 classics um, and then this is 52, so they're like the last few from the classic collection and they are the newer ones I suppose and yeah I can't even fit them in there because I have so many as I said. So I can't comment on this yet because I haven't even watched it but I'm obsessed with Tangled, it's definitely... I love the, the newer uh, princess movies. I love that one. Big Hero 6. I am a sucker for Baymax. And if you've seen my Baymax cupcake tutorial, then you'll know that I love him and he's so cute. La 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 la. Big Hero 6 is great. Wreck-It Ralph, great as well. Another good new one. Frozen. It can be a bit overplayed, to be honest. I'm kind of over it now. It is a great film, but I think because it went on for so long, they kind of ruined the whole frozen theme of it. So let me just show you some of the other ones that I have over here. I have a second copy of Melody Time. So these ones are part of the Disney Classic Collection and they are kind of more towards the beginning of when Disney was releasing movies. So there's a few of them that are themed with like Donald Duck and Goofy and Mickey Mouse which are really hard to find so it took me a couple of years definitely to get all of these ones and I had to scour the internet to find them and then if I was lucky enough to come across one in a shop I would get it straight away. But a lot of these were sold for like three euros so so cheap as well to finish off my collection which was great so I have a couple of copies of that I don't know how that happened oh then I have like all of these guys as well which aren't always made by Disney so like Maleficent and then obviously Cinderella the newer real life action um, Alice in Wonderland Mirror Mirror I'm obsessed as you can tell I literally have everything there is to have Winnie the Pooh Lady and the Tramp 2 Ariel's Beginning um, Return to Neverland. I really like this one as a second film because sometimes the second ones can be a bit of a letdown. But I have to say, I do really like Peter Pan Return to Neverland. What other ones? Ariel's Beginning. Um, I prefer Air, um, Little Mermaid 2 where she has her daughter, Melody. I think that's a really nice one. 
And then what else? Oh, there's so many I have to talk you through. Oh yeah, so then I'll show you some of my Pixar ones and then I'll move back to my big case and talk through kind of my favorites out of the classics. So The Good Dinosaur, I've started my Disney Pixar collection and this is one of them. And they are actually starting to put little numbers on the side here. So this is number 16 apparently. Um, it's obviously becoming more of a trend to be collecting these items, which I didn't know because I started collecting them years ago. But this is The Good Dinosaur and I, ha I have to say, I really really like this one this is a great new one so if you haven't seen this already I definitely recommend it it's so cute this is a little cave boy a little dinosaur and they're friends for life and it's adorable so that's one of my favorite Pixar ones at the moment inside out that is great I love that and oh brave see this should have been part of the Disney classic collection I think because it, it is a princess and it's a modern-day princess which is great I love the fact that they're doing this now and they're making like strong brave women hence hence the name pardon the pun and the little twins oh my god aren't they just so cute the little three boys that turn into the bears sorry spoiler alert love 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 this one and monster zing classic bugs life definitely a classic oh and then moving on to my tinkerbell collection i love all the tinkerbell movies so let's start at the beginning if i can yes i've got two of these for some reason see i end, tend to double up when these things happen so this is just tinkerbell and when this came out i was like oh my god wow i'm in love and i did not think that they were going to be, be releasing more and thankfully they did this is the first one and then I think it's Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure which is so nice as well. Thirdly, which is probably my favourite of the moment for the Tinkerbell ones, is Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. Oh, sorry. Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue because um, they, she comes in contact with a little girl who um, keeps her and keeps her away from her dad who's investigating fairies and um, in the end they all become believers. It's <laughs> It's so nice. It really is a lovely little story and because I always wanted a little fairy when I was younger This is like playing into my dream of having a fairy. I still want a fairy to be honest I mean who doesn't and uh, that's the same one and then the last oh I should have another one. There actually is another one to the collection and um, so Tinkerbell and the Pyre Fairy and then Tinkerbell and the Secret of the Wings. I like this one over this one. And then there's um, the Never Beast as well, which is the last one of the Tinkerbell collection, which is amazing. I love them all, but there is a few that I love more than the other, like the third one, and then maybe the Secret of the Wings because she finds her like long, long lost sibling, which is like an ice prince, uh, an ice fairy. She's only allowed to fly in the snow. It's really good. So you should check them out if you haven't because they're really good Disney ones as well. So let's talk through some of my favorites in here. And starting off with, let me see. Oh God, it's so hard to choose. Did you know, here's the fun fact, that Snow White was actually the first ever Disney movie released. So that's how long ago Snow White was released. And I love this because it's like a digitally remastered. So it's a really clear version and it's great to watch my old favorites again. You know what, I've dressed up as Snow White along the way over the years and people always tell me sometimes when, I've, when I haven't got a time that I look like Snow White. So this is one of my faves as a Disney princess movie. I did find it a little bit scary as a kid though with the queen and everything. Oh, and these are the guys that I was talking about that are hard to get. So Sally Dos Amigos, The Three Caballeros, Make Mine Music and Fun and Fancy Free. So these guys, as you can tell, I haven't watched most of them. They are kind of like all the, the kind of Donald Duck and the Mickey Mouse ones. I wouldn't be too in interested in these, to be honest. They're probably more for the kiddies. But I would say that they are part of my collection, so I just had to get them. Bambi, of course. See, like, I like all the ones in the beginning as well. Pinocchio, classic story. Dumbo and Bambi. Oh, they're all so cute. Okay, so I have to narrow it down. I have to be good. Okay, let me think. Cinderella. I'm going to say she's up there in my top five movies I have to say no is she yes I love the music who doesn't love the Cinderella story it's been replayed time and time again we made into different films and it, I have to say it is one of my favorites so we'll put that up there as number one number one favorite what else do we have we have oh I'm gonna have to get a second princess in there I'm sorry because Sleeping Beauty hail to the princess Aurora sorry 
It's just a natural reaction when Disney comes out to sing Disney movies. My friend actually is obsessed with Disney or um, Disney songs, so she has them in my head all the time. Um, Sleeping Beauty. I love all the music and the three little um, fairy godmothers. I love the way they go on with her in the house and everything. And it is a really great story. It has lots of twists and turns. So they're probably my two favourite Disney princess ones. It is really hard to choose. I'm going to pop them back in here now. And let me see. Okay, so now I'm going to pick kind of a one that you wouldn't really think of and not one that is kind of always out there as a famous famous Disney movie and one that is really good is The Fox and the Hound. Like who doesn't love The Fox and the Hound? It's it's a sad story, it really is a sad story but the two of them they're so cute together, they're puppies, they're living life on the farm. You know what it's a lovely little story, the owl is involved as well. This is number four and I want to show you some of the ones yeah you may not have heard of that actually are part of the Disney DVD collection and stuff that's not talked about as much and not as famous as maybe The Lion King or something like that. First one, Oliver and Company, a lovely story about a little cat and he finds friends with these kind of like stray dogs and then um, also there's a little girl involved who's super cute, she's adorable. Basil the Great Mouse Detective, a story about a mouse and then there's or mice I should say and rats and stuff like that and kind of like an old older school ratatouille I'd say. Um, yeah, I like this one as well. I like them all. The Black Cauldron. You may never have heard of this. I found it really hard to get this one. Um, I can't. Oh, there's like ghouls and gremlins. I remember, and um, he's obviously the main guy there. And there's a pig. Yep. Yeah. You know what? It's so hard to remember them all, especially these guys. But they are good. They sh you should give them a watch if you see them online or anything like that. Fox and Hound. That's on my face. The Princess and the Frog. I'm sorry. I know I said that I could. I was only going to pick two princesses, but. Uh, of the newer Disney DVDs, I'd have to say I really do like this one. I really like in jazz music at the moment, and the ja and the music in this is really upbeat. It's fun. It shows New Orleans. It shows like an area of the world in a way that I've never seen before, and it gives you the culture and really everything like that you expect to see from New Orleans is like in this film. It's a really heartfelt story, and it's a nice take on an old classic. Um, story of the princess and the frog. I really like this one and that's probably one of my newer favourite ones. Over that and Tangled, I'd say this is my fave from the newer Disney princesses. So that brings me up to four, so I guess I've only got one more to pick and of course it's going to take me a just because I, re I really find it hard. So let's pick another one that, ooh, oh I know what I'm going to go for. Robin Hood, Little John, running through the forest. Da -da 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 love Robin Hood. I think it's a lovely story, and isn't she so nice? And I love the way they take all the money back from the horrible old Lion King. That's like taking all the money from the people, and it shows you like what it was like in Nottingham back in England, back in those days. And it's you know what Disney fi um, films are so like they teach you so much stuff. They're historical. They're full of culture, music, and I just love them. So this is probably my last one. You know what, I love them all. I love like the sword and the stone. I love the jungle book. I love so many. And here they all are. And there goes one on the ground. But yeah, Lilo and Stitch. I do like the ones over here as well, like Tarzan I watched recently, um, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, it's falling on my I'm gonna have to put this down, it's far too heavy. Bolt to Meet the Robinsons. Chicken Little is a really nice new one as well. Aladdin, do you know what? They're all so magical in their own way. And it's been really hard for me to pick today, as you've just seen, sorry about the struggle. So that's it guys, that's my huge Disney DVD collection. I hope you've enjoyed watching it, taught me talking through all my favorites. And make sure to give me a big thumbs up, comment below, and of course subscribe to already if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you have fun watching your Disney DVDs. Bye bye.